Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Remember to stay right here. That's what mindfulness means. And then watch the breath to see how it feels. Does it feel good? You can try longer breathing, shorter breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light. Try to find what rhythm of breathing feels good right now. You're giving the mind a place to stay, a safe place to stay, because if it wanders around outside, who knows what's going to happen to it. So it's like a child. You want to keep it home? You try locking up the doors and the windows, it's going to find a way of picking the locks. And then when it goes, it's not going to come back. But if you give it something to play with, then you can open the windows, open the doors, and as long as it's interested in its playthings, it'll be happy to stay. Otherwise, if it goes outside, who knows who's going to kidnap it, who's going to run over it. Otherwise, you go wandering outside. There are all the moods of the world, topics of the world. And a lot of them are designed to give rise to greed, anger, delusion. You look on the internet, you look on TV, you look in the media, and they're doing their best to excite some kind of unskillful emotion. So you need some protection. You need a safe place to stay. And here's the breath. This is how you feel the body from within. It's a place that nobody else can come, and it means you don't have to push anybody else out of the way. This is your space. So make the most of it. We have the elements of earth, water, wind, and fire here. There's warmth, there's coolness, heaviness, and then there's energy. And you can ask yourself, how can I use the energy of the breath to bring things into balance? That way you've got a good place to stay. When the body is a good place to stay, then the mind is in a much better mood. It's more likely to see what's skillful and what's not skillful, and be willing to do what's skillful and to abandon what's not. It's when the mind is in a bad mood that it just goes for whatever. Whatever strikes its fancy, it takes. Good, bad, indifferent, it doesn't care. As long as it likes something, it'll go for it. But here you're giving the mind something good right away, a sense of a comfortable sense of breath. And think of the comfortable sense of breath filling the body. And then when the temptation comes to act on unskillful intentions, you realize well, there's no reason, there's no appeal. You're not drawn to it. This way the mind becomes a lot more reliable. So give it some safety and you'll be able to depend on it. It'll give you some safety too. Otherwise, if the mind is untrained, it's like you have an enemy inside the house, or an untrained animal inside the house, and it's going to tear things up and leave messes all over the place. But if the mind is trained, you can put it to work, and it'll do the work that you need to do.